Yeah, I've come away from uh, Studley Park now. I'm, uh, I'm in the uh, Ripon Centre now, Ripon City Centre. And that's the another obelisk, Illuminati confirmed. And this, that's where the, uh, the horn blower, he goes to the four corners of that obelisk and blows his horn at nine o'clock at night. I'll probably come one night and film that. And that's the, uh, that's the, uh, the city hall. Except ye Lord, keep ye city, ye wakeman, wake of in vain. That's what they call the home blower. I think he's called the wakeman, you see, because he probably keeps you awake with blowing his horn, you know. But uh, anyway, that's uh, the old buildings there. Now that one, that's the wakeman's house at the, at the bottom there. It used to be, I don't know what it is now. But that next door, drinks well, used to be George Bell's the tailor where my brother used to work as a, as a young lad. Now I went there one day, I was a scout, and it was Bobber Job Week, and I went in and says, any job, Bobber Job? And he, he took me downstairs and he gave me a brush, he said, sweep this cellar out. So I swept this cellar out for about half an hour and he only gave us a bob. I thought, oh, it's worth, it's worth five bob this, but he only gave us a bloody bob. Signed me bloody card and that was it. I never told him I was uh, Anthony's brother. You know, I didn't want any favour. Maybe I should have done. But anyway, it's called Drinkswell and George Bell. So it's rhyming slang. So that's it. So that's uh, over there. You can see the uh, top of the cathedral probably have a walk around there in a minute and this is the uh, city centre now over there there's a there's a there's a tank over there I think he's he's, he's pulled up he's pulled up outside uh, oh, I, don't know, I can't see where he's, he's pulled up outside Holland and Barrett he must be after some vitamin tablets or something yeah Thanks for the memories. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so that's it. So I'll have a ride down to the cathedral now on my uh, Welsh dragon. What do you know? Yeah, I've pulled up at the. Uh, I've pulled up at the cathedral now. I won't go in because you have to pay <laughs> and I'm from Yorkshire, I don't like paying for it. I've been in hundreds of times. But that's what we saw from uh, Studley Royal in line with the St Mary's Church is the uh, Ripon Cathedral. Built in 11, 11.47, that's just past quarter to twelve. Yeah, no I don't know when it was built. Look it up on Google. Anyway, that'll do for now. It's a bit windy here. Yeah, there's no trip to Ripon. It would be complete without me visiting my home place. I'll show you where I live shortly, but this is the fish and chip shop. It, it was a fish and chip shop then when I used to live here before I left at 12 year old. That used to be Mary Martin's, the news agents and cigarette shop. My dad used to, my dad used to send me out at uh, five year old, go get me five wood binds, and she used to serve me Mary Martin. She used to give me the five wood binds. I'd smoked three of them before I got, no I didn't, I never smoked. I smoked one fag, coughed and I said that's not for me and I never had another one. But they said oh you'll be cool at school if you smoke, you can flick the fag and you can do this and, and, and No, I said I'd rather be uncool. So anyway, 
That up there where that white van is used to be the gypsy pond where my brother fell in and I think Brian Hodgson saved him another lad that lived round this Howard Street he saved him and pulled him out but it's not a gypsy pond anymore now it's all I think there's houses that's been filled in and that's uh, Beach Road there, them houses this is Lead Lane, this main road up here I'll go around and show you Cedar Close, where I used to live. Roger Dilly. Yeah, I've been up to my house and had a look. Uh, because I, when I was there, there was a lady at the door and a gentleman. I says, I used to live here. And uh, we had a talk to them and I says, D and they knew the Fishmans. They said the Fishmans have lived somewhere else. I forget where they said. So, and this is, this is the South Lodge pub, I think this was one of my dad's old aunts that he used to roll home with, well he used to drive home in them days, he never bothered about, there was no, well there was drink driving but there was no breathalyzer, that used to be I think Penty's Garage that was called, so anyway I didn't film the, she was a nice lady, yeah. so she, she rents the house of somebody that lives in France so somebody lives in France bought our old house yeah so well, that was nice so anyway I'll carry on background again now what are you doing